This is how to make a Korean budogogi beef panuzo with seaweed. AKA a budogogi beef flatbread sandwich. And to kick things off, I need to make the panuzo flatbread. This simple dough consists of double flour, water, yeast, and salt. I'm gonna form some flatbread, let it rise for a bit, then stick it into my Oni pizza oven. The temperature gets up to 500 degrees Celsius, so it only takes about one or two minutes to make the bread. Oh, and by the way, a panuzo is an Italian flatbread. It's made from leftover pizza dough that puffs up like a pizza bread. And in no time at all, there we have it, some nicely charred and rustic panuzos. And in Italy, apparently it's filled with cured meats, but I'm gonna fill it up with some Korean budogogi. And trust me, these guys are really, really hot. Okay, my panuzo has nicely cooled down. Admittedly, it doesn't look like much now, but you just wait. And the best way to open it is with some kitchen scissors. Give me a moment while I cut through those inner pillowy strands of gluten. Okay, I'm almost there. Now I'm just going to give it a wee bit of a pull and there you go. Now it's time to fill this panuzo up and give it some street cred. This thick and spicy paste is called samjang. I think it's made from gochujang, sesame, garlic and soy. Anyway, it's very tasty indeed. And this is a big sheet of flavorful Korean seaweed. I'm just going to fold it up like this and place it right here. And now it's time for the star of the show, the budogogi beef. This is Korean marinated beef and it is absolutely packed full of flavor. And if you want to know how to make budogogi from scratch, please click on the link above. Here is a bit of a fun fact, it actually contains quite a bit of fruit. Who would have guessed it? Check out all that filling. All I have to do is just fold it and ta-da! There we have it in all its rustic glory. A homemade budogogi beef panuzo. Now I'm just going to cut it in half and see what it tastes like. I must admit it's not every day that I have a seaweed and beef sandwich. And it definitely looks very interesting, but how does it taste? Well, it tastes sensational. In fact, it's budogogi tastic It's sweet, it's beefy, it's umami and Italian and Korean. And you don't need a pizza oven to make it. You can make this in your conventional oven at home. So if you have any extra pizza dough on hand, give it a go. And filling-wise, the sky's the limit. Thanks for watching. For more content like this, please like and follow.